Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use Ableton for DJing and I made a simple template over here. Uh, I made two decks A and B and over here on this track I have the track collection so that's where you drag your sounds onto and then later drag them over here to play them. Um, the clue of this tutorial is actually this effect control section where I made some chains of effects that can be applied on those tracks that you're playing here in order to have a nice transition. <clears throat> but first thing you want to do is drag in your sounds and Ableton will try to warp um, them. That is um, like detecting the tempo of your track and syncing it to the overall tempo of your Ableton Live uh, program. And that's the tempo that you, with, that you will be playing so um, over here detected 121 and it, it's using the complex pro algorithm. Sometimes other algorithms are um, a good choice for you but this one is actually good for now. And you see I'm used to putting those in like the BPM information and the key information over here in front of the track so you have that information right away before starting to mix. <clears throat> So now let's get to the fun part and apply some effects on top of the track. So as you can see, um, there are several nice effects over here. Use you can use them for mixing to the other deck, and that one requires a little bit of explanation because it's actually a compressor taking the side chaining signal of the other track and placing it in here. If you move that threshold up, that track will uh, get side chained to the beat information of that track. So in order to sometimes if you if you don't want to bother EQing your low, mid, uh, you, you, over here you can EQ low, mid and highs. Um, that's also pretty important for mixing, we get to that in a second. If you forget that, uh, putting this um, side chaining on will make sure you don't have too much bass in your mix if you play both tracks at a time. So let's uh, make a simple mix.
<clears throat> so you can make fun stuff. This is actually a pretty, <laughs> a pretty uh, bad mix, but um, yeah, you know, you get the picture of what you can do. And I'm quickly going to show you what those effect chains are actually doing over here. I'm I'm, I'm taking the two-step delay, and uh, you see if you turn up this knob, all those devices get like the filter gets activated and um, the dry wet gets up over here there's a little bit of um, the, the resonance going up and um, all the effects basically they have get when they get applied they get a low cut because you don't want to mess around with the low frequencies with the base frequencies in your in your uh, effect application because a delay effect with bass just sounds mostly pretty bad and you see like this knob tweaks all those devices and gets you a nice effect. So all of them have a low cut and um, yeah, get a little bit of more amplification in the high frequencies once they get applied. And um, yeah, um, so this uh, this is a very basic but very powerful um, DJ setup for DJing with Ableton and of course you would adjust all the knobs um, and, and map them to your MIDI controller like Ableton Push or um, some other MIDI controller. Well, Ableton Push would like trigger this by itself, but any other could be mapped using the MIDI mapping function over here. And yeah, and you're going to be fine, um, already prepared for, for playing with this setup.